Hello, Gita. Hello, Aaron. This is Philip calling from Switzerland. Hi. Hi. Hi I'm so excited Hi. to talk to you because I have family in Switzerland. <laughs> is that true? Yeah. Which era of Switzerland? German it's part, it's... French part? Uh, Swiss German part. Her brother oh, is okay. married to a, yeah. a woman from Switzerland and they have yeah. four boys. And, yeah. and what's the town that they live in? It's right outside of Lucerne. Oh, I'm from Lucerne originally. It's oh. so funny. It's oh. such a small world. Yeah, we yeah. just spend yeah. time with them and we're so excited that the movie's coming to Switzerland so they can watch it there. <laughs> yeah, and you have a not that big here in in the german era we can use only one coupon at the time not like time not like in america no, uh, or the other so right. uh, it's it's so much it's so much fun to see to see that story and i read it's inspired by a true event so why uh, do you pick that event for your latest movie well, I think when we when we heard about the story and then we talked with this detective in Phoenix, Arizona, who had investigated the story and he told us more about it. And just the idea that these women made millions of dollars with counterfeit coupons we were already intrigued. And then, you know, when we heard that postal inspectors were involved and it just felt like such a unique story that we had never heard anything like it. And it felt like it could make a great comedy. Okay. Yeah, it's 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 perfect for a comedy. I, I saw there is a, a TV show about couponing uh, and they translate that uh, to to German uh, language. So I, I see it, it, it could become a real addiction. The whole thing is, is that true? Is that your impression as well? There's definitely extreme couponers out there. And if you master it right, you can save a lot of money. And that, of course, gives you the coupon high. But also, you know, right now, there are so many families, especially in America, that are struggling to pay, you know, pay their bills and make ends meet. So coupons are definitely on a trend because it is a chance for them to save money when they don't otherwise have it. And it's a big yeah. part of the U.S. economy because yeah. in shopping habits, they're always companies are always trying to yeah. shift the buyer's mentality of it being a want or a need. Mm -hmm. Like, do I want it or do I need it? Mm -hmm. And by having a coupon for it, it puts this ticking clock on when you buy it yeah. so that it shifts to like, oh, I need to get this now. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. here coupons are so popular, I think, because yeah. people just yeah. men mentally feel like, oh, I have to buy it now because yeah. I have this coupon. There's a good example of a big company called JCPenney in the United States that got rid of coupons. They tried an experiment and got rid of coupons. And by doing this experiment, they almost bankrupted their company and lost $4 billion. So this is just how important coupons are to the U.S. economy. What happens to to the real people who who did this? Uh, have had have you talked to them? Have you met them? We we didn't. We really um, in talking with the detective and hearing about the scam, we used the framework of what they did and the scam that they pulled off. But we really wanted to create our own characters within it, and we had a story we wanted to tell with that. So we don't really know. I mean, we just know what happened to them. You know, it's, it's pretty similar to the movie and, and what happened to them uh, eventually. Yeah. And we knew what they did when they made all of this money. You know, they really did buy these sports cars and guns and all of these crazy things. Um, yeah. But we don't really know much about the actual women. Okay. Okay. So my time is almost up. Um, uh, last question, is there any kind of, of a message to, you want to deliver with that movie? Absolutely. We hope people watch this movie and they feel joy and happiness. But also we hope that when they're watching this movie, they feel inspired that if they're feeling undervalued or discounted in their own lives, they find that own personal loophole to succeed and find their self-worth. Okay. Thank you so much. And we say here in Switzerland, tschüss Tamer. Maybe tschüss. you can say that to, to your uh, relevance. Yeah, <laughs> tschüss Tamer. <Tschüss>, <laughs> we'll give that a try. <laughs> <I'll> try that. <laughs>
Thanks so much. Thank you, Thank you so, so much. much. Bye. <laughs> Bye.